We have Spider Biffin on. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. Inside the ant farm, people. How you guys doing? I said that was a nice cold open. I like that. I, you said catch you. said catch you like. Hey, blah, 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 blah. No, I, was doing, I was doing my scoliosis. But let's uh, let's get this beer out of the way here. Uh, it's some good stuff. Let's get out of the way. So so, so Matt Matt did the uh, the pick six at Wegmans, and this is uh, this is one he recommended. I've actually had this twice. Um, once for the last Super Bowl, the Giants won two years ago. Mm -hmm. Quite some time, yes. <laughs> yes. Um, but it was awesome. It was yeah, the best part of that Super Bowl. Bowl was, except for the Super Bowl was awesome. Look at me consider it. Um, but uh, it's called Innis and Gun, and uh, it is a. It's got like a scotchy. They're also the WWE it. Tag Team Champions, if you're wondering. They're, that's gonna be our wrestling name, Innis and Gun. I think. You guys be in the Close. Ghost. That's nice. That's like a, like kind of a smoky mm. nose on the nose. I like it. It's better. Yeah, it's it's like better a little colder, but it was like there for no, that, this is actually perfect. Oh. If it's too cold, you wouldn't be able to taste like the the. It has like a fruit undertone. I really like that. Mm. Those are flavors I wouldn't. I had, like a, I had like a. It turns out they nice. had like a like a liter bottle. It like starts out. It starts out kind of smoky, too. and then it gets really smooth and fruity. I, like I think it. it's like six and a half or seven percent, so it's got a good alcohol content too. That is, I like that a lot actually. That was a, that was a good pickup, man. Nice job. Oh well, here's the thing, and you should take advantage of this when you go to Wegmans. The pick six, it's for four of those bottles. It is nine ninety nine. The pick six is six for nine ninety nine. Oh. Makes sense. They so, did it. so today's uh, actually let, we'll go into today's time in a second. But how, how are you doing, big guy? Ah, uh, pretty good. We just uh, had a gig at the shopping town mall. That's right, and that's why we're in the word dash you should again. I was rocking that because our career's on fire. And uh, this career is on we fire. We had a drummer, so that was nice. Though. Is that a career? That's good. This career is on fire! Yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, our drummer's there, Nick. Uh, he's a great guy. He's just, he's really busy. He's, he's uh, is he engaged now or something? Yeah, he's engaged. He's engaged. Yeah, he's got a job that's at the graveyard shift. You know, he's 12. He 12 keeps years. rotating. 12 yeah, he keeps rotating. Too. Yeah, so it's, it's hard to get him to gigs and get him to practice, but we love that guy. We know you don't watch the podcast, Nick, but we still love him. Yeah. I hate you because you don't watch the podcast. What are you going to do? You can't do anything. Nobody's even going to tell you because nobody watches. No, people watch, and we love them, and we love all your fans. Don't tell Nick then, whoever's watching. Actually, it's someone just today telling me they watched the podcast. Oh, nobody tells me that. I, I, I get a lot, actually. My wife goes, I don't watch it. Hey, but, but if you notice, Matt, a lot of those fans there were... Yeah. They were, you did. You picked up uh, most, most of the years. I had a couple. Some, some couple. good people. Some good people there. They were like family, but yeah. <laughs> hey, they're good people still, too, too. We love you guys. We did. Um, okay, can we, we want to do some topics before we do the, our main topic, or, because I had a couple yeah, of things yeah, to add. Yeah, let's, go ahead, okay. let's, it's conversational, uh, conversational okay. podcast. Well, uh, we got a, there's a couple of new people coming to comment, I don't know if we announced one of them was John Barrowman, I don't know if you know who he is. I know, the, Torchwood, come on. Man. Torchwood, and he's Captain Jack Harkins. This Harkin. guy thinks I don't have nerd cred, come on. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. You, you like your, John Barrowman, he's steamy. He's also gay. But Bice well, yeah. isn't he? I thought he's, no, he's, he's, he's character's bisexual. He's character's bisexual, yeah. Pansexual. He actually just got married uh, just recently. Um, oh, yes. I, I saw that. I love John Barrowman. He's awesome. He's yeah, a, he's really cool he was on the nerdy. He's cool, like, he's uh, like uh, Vine videos and stuff like that. If you if you uh, look at his Facebook, he always posts, like, funny things. He was on a flight with Will Wheaton a couple of days ago. And it was, he was, like, creepy. Shh, don't, don't, don't mention Will Wheaton around Jamie. She hates him. What is she, Sheldon Cooper? What? <laughs> no, I think because he, she thinks he's like Sheldon Cooper. Because he is. Sheldon Cooper. You gotta read, if you hate, uh, well, we didn't read his blogs, because he really tells a lot about his life, like how he hates when people stalk airports, like, camp airports and wait for him and, like, try to get autographs, it's like, I will not sign any of your autographs, and, but I wouldn't either, you know, you know, if you're coming, making it organic, if you're, like, getting mad at me when I'm trying to walk to my gate and I'm taking my shoes off, that's not cool, you See, know? See, I, I had to watch the, uh, the Flux, um, table oh, I could have put that for my, and she thing. did not, she did not, like... Did not like what we know. <laughs> like, I like the game, but I did not like what we know. I was like, okay, well, that's fair enough. That's all I can ask. I just wanted to make sure you saw it. I love what we He's snarky. He's yeah. got a dirty beard. I like it. it yeah. Like Speaking of dirty beards, oh. are you, like, growing it back? What's going on No, here? I just, uh, my razor broke. <laughs> like, literally, the, <laughs> the day I went to shave my beard, like, my razor stopped working, and I had to find another one that was not good. Basically, it took right. me, like, two hours to get my actual beard off. Dollar Shave Club, people. Come on. Well, what are I, you I think, because tomorrow's my anniversary, Jess is going to give me a nice it. electric razor. Because I don't, I don't care if my face can blaze. what happened to the... Oh, that, that's when it broke. Yeah. you got him an electric razor. Yeah, it broke. Thank you. It broke. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I don't remember that. Uh, 
Black yeah, so out. yeah, Comic Con. Let's let's keep okay, going. Okay, and because we have who's the other one? Who's the other one? The Shadow Attack. Who is the other one? That's coming to Comic Con. There, uh, there was a funny thing on um, um, uh, George Takei's page. It was like we we should play a game when every time someone online. asks Shatner, you, oh yeah, yeah you and posted, you yeah, and you you have to overact everything. Whatever you're doing, whatever somebody you're doing. actually somebody actually did that in my office, and I almost forgot about it. Like what? Oh, and I like start overacting. So. It's like, you read my Facebook, stalker. No. I need more people that are cool in my office. Cool. But, uh, yeah, William motherfucking Tiberius Shatner is going to be there. I think his last name must be motherfucking Tiberius, I think. Or his middle name. Middle name, yeah. That'd yeah. be weird if his last name is Shatner. It could be motherfucking Tiberius Shatner. He just shortens it for, uh, for, um, Especially since Tiberius screen. is his character's name. That's why it was in there. Mike, come on, look it up. In the Bible. Um, but... Yeah, so we definitely have to stay in line for that. I know Dad doesn't watch, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, but I, I want to stay in line and get some time Get a that, picture and you know? then send it to him. Yeah. Be like, what's up, old man? Oh, no, actually, I'm going to do a Vine video of me lighting on fire. And be like, you could have had this, sucker. If you were better, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I, I definitely want to stay in line and get, get some time. I mean, when do you see get something like the that? The Shad Attack, man, yeah. yeah. That's one of his favorites, so. Um... But yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. Oh, I'm glad you wrote news times. I didn't write any news. Well, I got two other things. The one we just talked about, episode seven. So they're oh, talking. Yeah, okay. they're, no, I didn't know about that. Yeah. They're talking about uh, that. They're looking into the dude. I don't. Do you remember the character? Uh, Ian remember. McDermott. Oh, that's right. It is McDermott. Yeah, McDermott or something like that. Um, he is playing. He was from the, the old Star Wars movies. Was Emperor Palpatine. They're looking to get him back. Now, if you remember correctly, in Empire or in uh, Return of the Jedi, he is thrown. Spoilers! Spoilers! Thrown into a hole. I didn't see it. I didn't see... Screaming. Now, if you remember, I thought though, he was a protagonist. You remember, you remember though, in Empire Strikes Back, Luke also fell into a hole they should have died from. Yeah, but this, fine, so. but the, Luke fell into a an exhaust pipe, whereas he, 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 uh, he fell like nine hundred feet, then landed in a pipe. By the way, if you didn't know that the the, the uh, Death Star had horrible design flaws. The throne room has a portal down to the nuclear reacting He's like, I port. just like to look down, <laughs> and then I can see like a million feet down for some reason. <laughs> My kitty whiskers <laughs> fell down there. It was very sad. Like, why did you do that? Why I, just, you do I like that? to stare down into the giant void of nothingness where we could have put stuff. And like, it's probably radiation down there. It's a it's a core of a I death star. I why he looks like that. Why he's all messed yeah, up. Like, like... He's just, like, this isn't from the dark I side. I was testing the force out. Oh, it's still working. I'm not dying. So okay. This is not from the dark side. I'm just okay. jacked up from the radi- the gamma yeah. rays. I think if they if, if there's anything to do with that, it has, it's going to be something with um the clone. Yeah, you know, like in the books, in the later books, they cloned the emperor. Yeah, that's right, they do. They but do the thing the is, in, in when they cloned the emperor in the books, he was a much younger, like almost Luke's, like I think even he younger than young. Luke. Yeah, Palpatine. I mean, he was like, that's he gonna be was a lot relatively of CG. young. In a lot of CG. The, he's relatively young actually in the first movies. Uh, because he was only like sixty in the new the yeah. one two or three, yeah, which so is fine. You know, he just had the voice for it, you know. Yeah, um, but he he ain't young man anymore. Yeah, he's probably looking like a dirty bag of laundry, like uh, Harrison Ford. I'm sure they're gonna have tape parts Whoa. of Harrison Ford's face back. <laughs> yeah, they're this Botox over there. <laughs> Get on this Falcon. We gotta I'm, go. I'm Han Solo. I can't smile. <laughs> And, and then Chewbacca will come and he'll, 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 he'll like have his hair all styled. <laughs> you sold out, Chewie. Okay, so let's get to the main topic now. Unless you got anything else. <clears throat> um, I did. One more thing. Oh, wow. Do, do you know what part Vin Diesel is now playing in a Marvel movie? I am Groot! That's the only thing that guy says, by the way. <laughs> ever. <laughs> ever. Like, he never says anything else ever. Or she, uh, I don't what, know what I, I, I'm not, I don't think Vin Diesel is a spectacular actor. But by the way, Vin Diesel is going to tie into what we're doing. That's an amazing thing. Great, I'm glad I, I just it's like keep a, talking, keep talking. But anyway, I don't think he's an amazing actor. But at least he has star power. You could have put him in and not a tree CGI where he just says three words. No, but I think that's the thing. I think he wanted to be that part. I thought he wanted to be the Vision. They were talking no, about that before. No, they just threw that around. There's no way he was going to be the Vision. Come on. I would rather see him in the Vision. Oh, the Vision! Like he doesn't play. He doesn't play no, robot. He doesn't no, play Android. But he could do. He could do it. I think. Riddick has like a deep monotone voice, and yeah, and, but you know, yeah. I think. I think. I think he would have been a good Vision. I, I don't um, group. I feel like they could have had anybody play that because it's a CGI with part. I agree with that, but I, I feel like he Wasting wanted. An actor. He wanted that part. And, and the Vision technically isn't in Guardians of the Galaxy. He you could have Dick yes. Clark's corpse play that, and it would have been 
<laughs> eleven. I am Groot. <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> too soon? Sorry. <laughs> too soon for us. Like. Sorry for those people that are referencing Dick Clucker now. I'm like, I don't remember that guy. <laughs> too soon for us, man. Uh, <laughs> um, but, yeah. Um, We're definitely more of this beer. It's really good. Like, two by me, like two bottles. Whatever, dude. But let's go into our topic now. Let's do, let's do this. So, t- the earworms. You're going to have better earworms than I do. I, yeah, this is this is what's in my ear right now. It could be like stuff we listen to at work, or stuff we listen to on the way to work. Uh, and, you know, not it could be shows too. Cause, like I mean, you, you might listen to some YouTube on your phone. I listen to all the all the stuff is stuff I listen to on my phone, and I have a bunch of stuff. But okay. but there's definitely some stuff I want to mention up top because the like f- first off music. I only have one thing on here for music because I, I usually listen to singles. But there's one album recently that just came out that we're, we we do a song from it in school for ants. Hopefully we can post it somewhere at some point. I'd like to record it, but but um, it, it's uh the album The Heist by Macklemore. Dan Buckley, get on posting, man. Okay, he's he found it somewhere. Um, uh, he, he's doing that. He was like building art. Yeah, he had that cool. He had this this um, the, uh, handle on his camera. Yeah, right? uh, I love The Heist. It's a great album. Uh, every single song in there. I don't think there's a bad song. In there's the not. Album. There's not. And like, there's some that are just like like that's good, but there's most of them are great. You know. Yeah, and I I. I bought albums before. I don't buy too many albums, but I've bought albums before where there's a couple good songs. There's even a couple good songs that weren't played. But then you get some songs that you just tell they, they kind of ran out of stuff. I, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't <laughs> heard an no. album that I like the entire album like that since uh, Green Day's Dookie, which I like the entire album. And Mine would be the uh, the Post Service uh, Give Up album. I, I haven't heard that one. Once. That's the one with uh, with uh, District Sheep's Will on it. Um, Another song we do in the band, School France. Uh, look us up. Oh, you're looking this up. He already looks this up. Tell someone else to look us up, please. So, um, yeah, where were we? Uh, about, we were still talking oh, about Macklemore. Yeah, Macklemore. So, so, okay, so that, that's, uh, you, you, you say one now. Uh, you want some music? You please? say one! Uh, <laughs> some music? Huh? I, it's tough for me to get into a lot of music because some of it is just not appropriate for my three-year-old, but he's... <laughs> Whatever, funny. loser. He listens to the inappropriate stuff. His favorite song right now, and it's it's been stuck in my head a lot, is uh, Blurred Lines by, uh, by Robin Thicke. I heard that the first time First today. time today. I, the funniest part is we were talking about how you never heard it, and it came on the radio immediately I after. think it was Serendipity. Um... Or serendipity. Yeah, I don't know who serendipity is, is, but you shouldn't tell your wife about that. Saturn. Um, but uh, the eye of Saturn. He does a really cool thing with Jimmy Fallon. Actually, that's a lot of uh, that's another thing I've been watching a lot of uh, the Jimmy Fallon viral videos. So I don't watch uh, late night yet with Jimmy Fallon. I want to. I just watch Conan a lot more and Conan. So, yeah, I don't want to record two things and then I don't really get a chance to watch them a lot of times. I don't have cable, so. but, but I do watch stuff with Jimmy. She either, watches so. a lot too, especially. But uh, I, I get a lot of the viral videos that uh, Jimmy <laughs> Fallon does, and they're fantastic. I can't wait to. I like, like when they do the the uh, uh, what, egg Russian roulette. That's my favorite. Yeah, egg Russian roulette's funny. <laughs> I did it with uh, Tom Cruise. Yeah. <laughs> it's good, good stuff. Uh, look, look it up, people. Google it. Google Jimmy Fallon egg Russian roulette. You know, if you would have told me ten years ago, Jimmy Fallon is going to be a great late night host, I'm like. The dude was a poor Saturday Night Live comic. Yeah, you know? like he was so hacky, and he was so. And but he was. <laughs> he fun- laughed during all his. Yeah, and he skits. was funny because he laughed during, like he broke all the time. Yeah, like, he broke his fourth wall like, during not funny minutes. skits. He just <laughs> break. Like it's like, are you high, dude? What is going on? He might have been. Uh, but he's great now. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, he's married. He's got a kid. Old. Kid just came. You know, he's uh, uh, you know just popped out a kid. His wife and uh, he popped actually out. not his wife. His uh, he had a surrogate. It was a surrogate. I never I never liked that stuff. <laughs> Surrogates? I don't want to damage my wife's vagina. No, it wasn't that. It was that they. Could, I guess they couldn't conceive. Well, it was like uh, uh, George Lucas and his wife just had a surrogate kid. I'm like, well, because because you think she's letting them put it on her? <laughs> it's like ew, gross. You're old. Uh, Loose skin and old. Thanks for your money. Balls, gross. <laughs> Uh, okay, so what do you got? On, wait, let's, let's read something. So Blurred Lines was my Blurred was my music one. Yeah. So it's a single, just single. Yeah, sing- I don't have an album right now, just because I've been listening to a lot of singles. Uh, we just got rid of. Uh, we just uh, today was our last day of uh, Sirius XM, so I don't know if we're gonna renew it. Or yeah, I watched you to. try and play, and like, oh, it's not working. It, it like stopped right when you were in the car, like literally, it stopped right when your car. The CIA is on to me. Uh, the, the NSA, you mean, because they're the ones watching all this. They're watching this, too. Hi, NSA. Can you at least like our, our page, Yeah, please? like, give us a like or something. something. Leave a comment. Like, what do we have to say in this thing? Do we have to, like, mention Obama? plots or something? Or yeah. Osama, <laughs> Obama? Osama Obama? Osama Obama? Osama This will never be posted. It'll just be... It'll, it'll it'll be a, this has been, a re, this has been <laughs> redacted. It'll be a blurred line. It'll be a big black bar over both our faces. 
We're in Guantanamo. Thanks a lot. Next week, Sean will rise. Next week from Guantanamo. Guantanamo. Oh. Yeah, we're not rich enough to get, get away with it. Oh. I read a lot of stuff at work, so I don't get to... Imagine Dragon. I want to listen to their album, but it's I really song. like the, uh, you know, the... I mean, Radioactive. Radioactive is a good song. Yeah. That's one of Aiden's favorites, too, so we listen to that one. I, I actually first heard that in a commercial for the Defiance game. Yes. Have you heard the uh, the Pentatonix version? Mm. Yes. That's a good version. I like that. You're, you're a Pentatonix fan. I love Pentatonix, but it's a good version of the song. Don't you get married to them all. Okay, next one. So, uh... I, I got a lot of good like good podcasts. And I, I this, the reason I did this is I want to get these out in the air, and I, and I have said these in different podcasts, or in, you know different uh, of our podcasts. I mentioned a bunch of these, but like I, the one I've been most recently listening to because I, I was one of those kids. We were poor, you know. We, we, we didn't really have a lot of friends when we were kids. Um, we, Speak for yourself. We, we didn't get to like play. We, we didn't get to like play these nerd games. We didn't because we, we were just trying not to get beat up. Yeah, you know, or worse. And so, you know... Plus, we like candy more than we like games back it's, then. It's a, it's a podcast called... Yeah, but I would have loved to play something like this when I was a kid. Because I was... You know, we're both creative types. Nerd Poker. Nerd, nerd Poker is basically Brian Poussain and a bunch funny. of his funny friends getting together, playing D&D, and just the brutal things that... The, 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 the DM is like, is like an old-school DM, so like he will kill your characters. He, he killed one dude off. Um, cause he, the guy was being stupid. Like, he's like, I'm gonna attack this thing. He's like, well, okay, see ya. <laughs> like, it kills you automatically by, like, you shouldn't have a stupid, why'd you attack that? Like, and, and, and it's, it's, uh, but they always make fun and light of everything, no matter what. Like, they, you can tell these guys, are, they've actually been playing together for years. They played together, uh, with Chris Hardwick, the Nerdist, at one point, too. But, but it, I, in this show, uh, the reason I brought this one up first is because, uh, they're doing a campaign, because they heard that Vin Diesel, who is a big... Uh, D and D player. He actually has a tattoo yes, of his D and D, like one of his his mm -hmm. main D and D character on somewhere his body. But um, yes. they're they're trying they're doing a campaign to try and get him to play with them, like on, on their cool. podcast. That's kind of fun. And so so like like he like oh go to go to find him on Facebook and type in that you want to play. That's and, cool. And there's actually like a a, a um, I think it's like a petition page like 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 this and Vin Diesel will come play or which whatever. But, but it, it's just funny. It's like a running gag on the show. And and, and Brian was saying, if you haven't heard any of his comedy, it's, it's hilarious. By the way, I just saw him in a in the movie Five Year Engagement, which was funnier than I thought it was going to be. And he was pretty funny. It was, it was pretty funny. And, and then I watched that. That was Jamie. It uh, came out by Jamie. Have you have you watched that movie? I'm not because my funny. wife didn't want me to watch it with me. You didn't want to watch it with me. Why nice. so are you fucking through it? Okay, she's probably right. But um. <laughs> But it's yeah, just, it was very important. It it's worth it. it, 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 it sometimes it gets into like a girl mess because it's like you know they're, they're, he, they they well, roll for everything. So like they're they're rolling for like opening doors and stuff. And sometimes they're failing. The the, the funny thing that I really like about the show and, and like and it's not a normal thing to do in Dungeons and Dragons. If you roll a one, it's a critical fail. Critical failure. But what what the dungeon master does is he calls it a botch, and there's a chance your character will die if it happens. So so like well, like it's the same thing with a critical failure. There's a chance that you can something bad can happen. To you. Yeah, but but like it's not it's not necessarily a rule. It's just something yeah. that could happen. And so like, oh, he, especially if you're messed so, up. So like 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 uh, he he made one of the characters got a critical failure trying to hit somebody, and like he's like, oh well, you trip and your sword stabs you and like slices your leg open, <laughs> and so you know, like you lose this many hit points. And it's and it's just funny how they react to stuff. And like they're they're different guys. Like one's kind of like a he's like a announcer, hacky comedian guy named Blaine. Uh, Who's a dude? There's gotta be a dude. The the dude the dude is really kind of Brian Poussin. Oh really? Because yeah, because he he like he's like, he plays this guy named Marth. He's supposed to be like chaotic good, which means your character like does follow follow kind of follows the rules. He's like a rogue. Part. And what's like a, a scoundrel? Thing, but he's always just kills people. And so like you know, and like the dungeon master gives experience based on if you do stuff that's with your alignment. So he never he like, gets the lowest experience all the time. He's like, I want to kill that guy. Like again, he's a barbarian too. So like he just like basically his powers are kill things. And so, uh, it's it's a great show. We'll, we'll move on now, just because I, I don't want to take it too much. Time. Okay. Um, I already feel like this was going to go. Well, I have one that I don't think you've watched, and you should. It's on um, Geek and Sundry. It's called Space Janitors. It is uh, it's basically follows these uh, these guys that are on the the Death Star. It's not they obviously they can't use that propriety. Uh, you know, Disney owns it and stuff. But they're they're me. they're on a a large space station. An evil large space station, and basically, like, uh, it, they act out like the rebel people. And they'd like, basically, they're the guys that, um, when the first Death Star blew up, everyone was like, well, you know, yeah, Luke killed a bunch of 
evil people, but he also killed janitors, and so that's what that's this show is basically based here, around that. The old that's side. basically what it is. This show is based around this this premise of these guys that are just working on the starship, and one of the janitors uh, finds out a little bit more, like he might be related to the rebels in a funny way. Uh, it, it's interesting. It's only like eight minutes long, so it's kind of no, nice, nice, nice little nice little. That's what I think of a geek and stuff. A lot of stuff like that. Well, they they actually doing like Gus more Red stuff. Um, they have they just got a bunch of new shows that they're putting out in the next like month or two too, like introducing new stuff. So that's kind of cool. Um, I don't really know, I don't know the names of them right now though, because I didn't really write them down. But <laughs> but that and Tabletop are the two things I watch. I can send you a lot, and we've already talked about Tabletop, so we're gonna bring it up again. But um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gloss over something too because I mentioned Harmontown, Dan Harmon's podcast. Harmon's, yeah. It's amazing. Just watching that, so. it's amazing. It's amazing. It is amazing, oh, especially when it's the Kamal Nanjiani stuff. It yeah. is great. He, that that guy is is one of my favorite comedians now, just because watching him on the show and then listening to his stuff afterwards, I was mm-hmm. like, this guy is hilarious. I guess he has a podcast too called The Indoor Kids, which I haven't listened to yet, but uh, it's about video games. Um, so Harmon Town, great, but I want to talk about We're Alive. Okay, because We're Alive is I've an never gotten to story, do this, and they always tell me about it. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll get to it. I never do. It's basically it's a zombie podcast. Um, they they do like an episodic thing. It's full fully, so like it has it's like almost a like radio, it's like a yeah, radio thing. Like, like a radio drama kind of oh. thing. And and so like they have this great story, and you got to you got to. I'm serious. They're they're in the last season. Now. They're just serious. they're starting the last season I'm next. Uh, I think next week, or maybe. So I got to start now. season one though. Yeah, and do that. So I just gotta listen for like twenty four hours straight until I get there. Is that yeah, what it's worth it though. It's so it's so good. I mean, it's basically about this this uh, group of survivors, and they're all different people, but they're led by this military guy who's kind of like reluctant to lead them. You know, it's it's it, it, that's kind of parts a little it's a trope cool. almost, but yeah, yeah, yeah. but 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 like they're they're very nuanced characters. They kill off people like left and right, and and they they will they don't they will maim characters. They will like you know they'll get rid of characters. They'll bring in new characters, and it is it's just a lot of fun. And and it's the, the zombies are a little. The zombies are more like a medical experiments gone wrong kind of thing. So so it's like, almost like a Resident Evil type zombie. Yeah yeah. So like like there's like zombies like and and also like the zombies seem to be getting smarter too. And, and now yeah, in the season, yeah. so they're like no one. Yeah like they're, like they have the recently yeah, like Resident they, Evil. Basically. They have the zombie that is basically like has these long talon fingernails. It's like still still people. not quite as bad as running and murdering and climbing over each other like World War Z. Well, they, they, later, but that's still pretty. They bad. also they, there's this one that's like it's like I forget what they call it because I'm watching them all, but it's called like the brute. Or it's basically like a brute. It's like a giant Hulk. It's like the brute. Hulk. Hulk thing that like Mass Effect that, like, you, can't, you can't you can't you basically can't kill it so you have to they're just running through it or the and one time they get cornered and they almost like die of starvation and it's it's, it's really realistic feeling you know with that sci-fi slant uh, it is it's really like it, it will give you nightmares though like it's good it's really it's that good so I can't watch I can't listen to this around Aiden is that what you're saying well and, and they also they have a companion podcast called We're Not Dead that uh, actually that's how I got into it because Greg Miller had talked about We're Alive and then he originally started doing "We're Not Dead," uh, the like the companion podcast to it. So I listened okay. to that, and I was like, "Oh, I want to listen to this." And then that's how I get into it. So we're alive. Okay. Um, the only other thing I really have on my list because I just wrote down a bunch of bull crap. Godly uh, Duke. Craig Mack. Uh, <laughs> Craig Mack, brand new flavor in here. <laughs> brand new baby in here. Um, really, the only other thing I have left is uh, I I'm a big fan of Spill. They just had to restructure, and uh, one of my favorite things on there was. Okay. Uh, one of my favorite things on there was um, uh, Jason and Jeff did a uh, uh, video game podcast. Oh, I can't even remember. Uh, Je- Je- uh, Professor Jeff is what, Professor Jeff. what was the name of the name. Jason Murphy. Uh, there, it was called. Uh, um, I can't even remember. The it's been so the long, like bar, three bar, weeks. Bar, bar. Yeah, the uh, Lonely bar. bar. Lonely Bar. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, Jason and Jeff, if you're watching. They're not, although, although Jeff is my friend in origin. We should get him over here. That's right. We played Mass Effect the other days. Come on. Get him over here. Yeah. You sure? You're not watching. It's okay. Get him to watch this. He, he, actually played, the, origin. he played the one time and then you played again. Because <laughs> he, he was doing it for like a review. I'm, it, I'm sure if he beat the ending, he's probably felt that way. Or if he got to the ending, he's like, fuck you, Mass Well, no, we did, we did oh. the multiplayer, though. That's fine. Oh, yeah? Did you guys hug afterwards? Did you make your characters come and go? Yeah. Yeah. I guess you can't do that. Ah. <laughs> So, re- so like, I'm a sexy so, so, Okay, sorry. Um, so now they have a uh, Goodness, sorry, a new sorry. site called <laughs> a new site called Rage Select, uh, which is a YouTube uh, podcast. Basically, the same thing they were doing, but on uh, on a different venue platform. Um, but yeah, it's still yeah. with the video game stuff. Yeah, and they are on iTunes as well. That's why yeah, I'm on iTunes too. Well. 
Uh, I watch them on YouTube when I when I get a chance to, and uh, they're still hilarious. Do, do you watch the other the other person the, the other big one on their site? I don't. What's the other Sparkle one? Sparkle Fandango. I don't watch Sparkle. It's pretty. It's, pre- it's pretty that. funny for the most part. They're, they're, they're basically like girls that don't really want to play video games, but they're playing like random stuff. And and they're just like bantering. It's it's pretty funny. That's like uh, although yeah. it's sometimes a little annoying because like they're like just jump over the thing. What are you doing? <laughs> With video games, if you like see what people playing video games, watch look up any of the Conan O'Brien. Ones oh, those are yeah. I've not seen those. Those are great. <laughs> no, so the funny. Conan reviews games. Those are amazing. Those are amazing. <laughs> Conan reviews Conan video games. Type it in. You, you'll you or go to the. He is hilarious. He's, he's hilarious. Go to team teamcoco uh, dot com and you'll find him there too. That put, is, that, put that underneath and maybe we'll write If they made a podcast out of that, I would list totally listen to him every day. Because, like, some of that stuff is just... And, and like, his, his, so uh, his, like, man... What is it? Like, his ex- producer is yeah, always like, playing this yeah. stuff and he's, like, just making fun of him. Because yeah. <laughs> he actually knows what he's talking like, you're about. you're terrible yeah. at this game. Like, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, but it, Rage Select, I love... I, I love it because I really miss uh, Loading Bar. I watched the entire Loading Bar again. I remember you saw and you saw the uh, all the um, Red Dead Redemption yeah, stuff too. Yeah, I love all the Red Dead. There's still re- there's a bunch of Red Dead Redemption stuff. Yeah, okay, again. good because uh, there was like 17 episodes. You ever watch them? They're all hilarious because mm. Red Dead Redemption is that. When fun. Jason Murphy, plus is, Jason Murphy is yeah. hilarious. And, know, and, they, so. and, Jeff, and Jeff and Jeff is a Professor Jeff's a really a straight man to that, and he also yeah. adds a lot of funny stuff too. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree with you. That's a very good, uh, very good example. Yeah, of, uh, of some good thanks. Stuff. So playing off, playing off that though, because we're talking about Spill.com. Spill.com now is they really reduce their stuff. Basically, Hollywood Hollywood.com owns them. Yeah, and they were like, "Oh, you guys aren't pulling enough business, so we're going to cancel all your podcasts." So one of the podcasts I listened to on there was uh, the League of Extremely Ordinary Gentlemen. Yeah, and uh, a bunch of guys from that site um, formed their own site called OneOfUs.net. Oh, I didn't know this. I'm going to write this down. Hold up. Yeah, and so so if you like Hold that up, show. They, they they do a bunch of stuff like that. They do um they do like a, a, a Blu-ray and DVD review one that's really informative because they they go over like just everything that came out that week, including like the smallest things. That's a lot and of what they did on um had a lot of good yeah co- a couple of cold ones. That's what it was. Well, they, this is this is actually closer to what they did on um well the yeah, Blue Tuesday. It was called Blue Tuesday originally, but they call it something else uh, when Brian Salisbury and uh, I know they did it for Lawrence Cox who is Cyrus. But now he goes, you know, obviously I'm just decided he can go by his regular name. Um, well, that's why he keeps putting me on. I kept seeing his name come up. I'm like, is that Cyrus? Yeah, it's Cyrus. Because <laughs> uh, he's going by his real name now. But one of us.net, they, they do, they do a, a fun, uh, like, sports podcast, too. So, you know, like, nerd sports. So, so it's like, nerd, like a nerd angle on sports where they, like, talk about, like, fantasy teams. And they talk about just, like, you know, just stuff in general. Just sports in general, mm-hmm. uh, which is fun stuff. And that's called, what is it called? I can't remember what it's called, unfortunately. But we like um, sports, and we don't care who yeah. knows. Well, and and their Blue Tuesday is now called Digital Noise, and so they, they every every week they talk about the new Blu-rays and stuff. But the one that I am, they, they well, they also they started their, they did their own uh, scripted podcast now, uh, like in the vein of We're Alive, but instead of like nerds in space kind of thing. Um, which I can't remember the name of that. I'll right take a look now. at the site because they, they, but they just this. came out. They just posted the first episode. Yeah, one of us dot net. Um, but the original gentleman is what their their iter- their new iteration of the League of Extreme. Can they not is. use that or something? No, because it's owned by Hollywood.com. Oh, it's lame. Those are lame. Yeah, which, which you know, lame it is, Hollywood. It is what it is. But it's good to have those guys back because I really enjoyed I their banter fun. and and they you know this one got a little is my Leon on there. Or? Uh, Leon, but he's Martin. Which, you know, Martin's his real name. Or his driver. It's funny because like sometimes they'll still call him like Cyrus. He's like Cyrus is my driver. <laughs> <laughs> And um yeah um yeah so one of us dot net uh really fun nerds a lot of lot of fun nerd stuff there and they're they're expanding they're ever expanding which is, I really like and I really hope they I'm do they did something with it too, like if they though. kickstart I would totally donate to that kickstart um and since you 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 don't have any more you said that was it so I then I will keep going with my Good. Kickstarter segue keep going the, the first thing I ever kickstarted the thrilling adventure hour. Is an amazing, an amazing podcast. You kickstarted? I didn't know that. Yeah, uh, well, no, I didn't kickstart the podcast. I kickstarted their graphic novel. Oh, okay. Because what they did is they did a graphic novel. Um, uh, the 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 uh, thrilling adventure is, is uh, it's old time radio, in the style of new like a new time podcast. So so like or new time podcast in the style of old time radio. Yeah. So so they basically they do the foley. They, they read they read from scripts, but they are they're all like really good improv actors and stuff too. What's a foley for all those people that don't know? Uh, fo- foley is like it's it's like um, a sound effects kind of generating. So it's sometimes it's a machine, but a lot of times it's it's actual it's, practical instruments effects. and props. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of practical effects, like like you know, a clip popping of a horse will be like two claves going together or something. You know? Yeah. 
Or, or like if it's like someone that marching. Whip snappy, you get that whip snappy yeah. uh, instrument. You got yeah, or, or like like this, some of us too, it'll be like, you know, a, a, you know, a taxi screeching to a halt. And like you have to kind of do a, you know, you can't, you just play a noise of a screeching because you can't have a cab drive through your, your theater. But like they, they perform in front of a live studio audience. So it's really, uh, you can really feel the energy in the room. And they get like pretty famous, semi-famous they stars. Best, I mean, times. Nathan Fillion, they've had uh, Colin Hanks, they've had... Um, not a lot of people. I, I I mean, um, I wish I could remember some of the, some of the, but but it's funny because like they they feel seek them out and and like um I would too, Nathan, Nathan Fillion plays like one of like a main character one of the series now because he's he loves the show so much. Autumn Reister as well. If you've seen her in things, she was in Last Resort and all yeah, that. Yeah, right. Um, but um, they do a bunch of different like. Old timey feel shows like they do one called Sparks Nevada, Marshall and Mars. I've, I've listened to a couple of those. They, they do well, yeah, but that's one of my favorites. They also do Beyond Belief, which is uh, these two drunks that solve ghost mysteries, and it's it stars Paul F. Tompkins, and it is probably it's probably the best one because his his wit is just so good, and and uh, Patch and Brewster is play and they play off each other so well. Um, there's also so many things Paul F. Tompkins in it's gonna be Captain hilarious. Laser Beam is another one that's that's a fun one. They also have a Doctor Who knockoff called um, Colonel TikTok. Carol TikTok. I think you told me about that one. Yeah, which is really it's hilarious. It is so funny. They they haven't done one of those recently though because because it's one that it's like less popular than like Sparks and Nevada, like their more original stuff. Yeah. But um that yeah that's definitely throwing the adventure hour is something that you guys should check out, uh, especially if you like like creative things. Uh, they they put out stuff every week too. Uh, they they've actually like they they bank so much so many shows that they're like doing stuff that's like like oh this was recorded in April and you're like. Okay, well that's fine. You know, it's, I haven't heard it before, and they 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 were just at Comic Con. And I'm really hoping they come to New York Comic Con. They might, no, but I mean, but they came, they came to Comic Con to promote the graphic album, uh, the, uh, the graphic novel that they made of their performances. So they basically like drew all the characters, and uh, what they did is if you if they beat their goals, they had a stretch goal that uh, they would make a um, like a scripted uh, concert film kind of thing. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, and so so that that's one of the things I that that was a tier I bought. I was like, I want the graphic novel and the concert film. So three hundred dollars later, no, it was, it was like fifty. It was it wasn't it wasn't horrible. It was it was a reasonable price. But um, okay, so I'll go down the rest of these fast because I'll just have a couple more. Girl on Guy with Aisha Tyler, really great. Aisha Tyler, if you don't know her, uh, a true blue nerd that is very a very hot woman. So a lot of people are like, no, she's not a real. Unfortunately, nerd. underutilized on whose lines anyway. But also, she's also um, uh, on Archer. She's also um, she's great on Archer. Yeah. I love Archer. Yeah, and so yeah, watch Archer for the way. Um, Danger Zone. Yeah, and so um, she she's great. Uh, she has a lot of fun banter. She, I, I heard, uh, she talked to uh, Nathan Fillion. She talked to Felicia Day. She talked to Seth Green. A lot of a lot of uh, nerd icons. Nerd icons. Nerd icons. And mostly guys. Almost all guys. But Felicia Day is one of the few girls she talked to. And um, okay, so podcast beyond. Me and Matt obviously died in the wool PlayStation fans. Um, where uh, this, the PlayStation is right behind the camera right now. Uh, have you pre-ordered your four yet? Um, you, you I have to. Anymore. I have to find a store that because games you can't uh, game, Amazon anymore. Games, so uh, GameStop supposedly started doing the pre-orders again, but last time when I was at GameStop, it was between that time, mm -hmm. and it was also a store that doesn't know if it's going to be open. So I might go to Destiny and see if I can pre-order there. So Podcast Beyond, starring Greg Miller, the guy that got me into a lot of like We're Alive and stuff like that. Um, he uh, he hosts that podcast with uh, Colin Moriarty and now Andrew Goldfarb. He used to be uh, Ryan Clements, but they yeah. they talk every week about PlayStation topics. But they also do a lot of comedy stuff too, and uh, it's it's great if you're you're really good nerd, and I am, and so it's perfect for me. Uh, and, and they have guests frequently. They, they've had um, a guy from the next podcast. I'm about to mention real quick the Comedy Button because we're winning, we're a little over. But um, Comedy Button is is these guys that have done podcasting for years. That do they just do a comedy like it's it's like a garbage podcast like if you if you just like listen to people just talk you know, like about funny, like funny inside people the talk about funny stuff like inside the ant farm <laughs> you should like, not seriously they, like this is they, like a garbage podcast they, like this one they're they're very funny they're very funny people and they they talk about just stupid things all the time and uh, they they started out as a video game podcast actually and then but then they're like we don't really care about video games that much let's just talk about our you know lives and random things. And uh, the comedy button. It actually got ra they got nominated for a what a Webby or whatever the Webby. Webby yeah, it's a Webby. We're, we're gonna get nominated soon, so that's good. Um, Future bring it Syracuse Webbies. Okay, last thing. This is the last thing I'll talk about because it is amazing and people and I have mentioned this before. Save the best for last. How right? did this get made? Oh, I love how this get made. How did this get made? Stars. I've only seen two so Paul Shear, the actor Paul Shear, he's in the uh, the league. He's been in uh, he's in uh, NTSF blah 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 SUV. 
which is on Adult Swim. He's in um, the Aquana the Aqu Aquabats. He's in the Aqu he's in the Aquabats. Yeah, he's he's one of the Aqu he's in the Aquabats. He's not one of the Aquabats. No, he's like a side character. He's probably a side. Oh, he's a side character. You're right. Yeah. He is. Um, and he's other stuff. The League, obviously, League, which I probably just said. But um, he uh, Jason Manzuka is also from the League, and uh, Paul Shear's wife June Diane Rayfield, the host of the show. They watch a cheesy movie every two weeks. Um, and they basically put out like material every week because they between that they put he's bored they they put a <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> they, they they put out like a like a basically like a primer episode where they answer where where Paul Shear answers questions and stuff okay. and, and then next week they do they do like a full on movie mm -hmm. and, and so like he'll be like okay so next week's movie is gonna be like throw them off on a train so go get this on Amazon and watch it and then you can participate with us on the forums and you can participate and you can listen to the show and you'll get like more value out of it. It's a really fun podcast. It's actually one of my favorite podcasts right now. And it helps really bad movies get watched. Wait, and they they're so good at making fun of things and and they and they're they're genuinely lovers of bad movies though um, too. So like they'll watch the bad movie and they'll like it for what Paul, it is. But Paul Shear is a is a is a nerd's nerd. He's just really good at at, like extrapolating data and making it so it is hilarious to a nerd, you know. Yeah, and and, 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 really well, and all three of the hosts compliment themselves. Compliment if you really haven't, well. if you haven't seen him on the league, he is fantastic. Or or Jason Manzukis who plays Rafi. So if if you yeah. if you know if you know the league, you know you, Rafi is the the actor's not very far from that. Like it's it's Rafi's a little bit of a parody of him, but not that much. <laughs> and he's like the worst human being yeah. ever lived, <laughs> which is amazing because like he will he will make fun of people in the crowd. Like they do live shows, he'll make fun of people in the crowd. He will like he he will just call me like this movie is just complete garbage and like and, like or like they'll, they'll talk about a scene that's just like supposed to be poignant or supposed to be like terrible and he'll just be like yeah dude I got turned down by it or something just like just the most irreverent things and it is a great <laughs> podcast. And speaking of podcasts being great, this one hopefully it was great for you. This is probably our best podcast ever. I, I think so too. I, I talk so fast though that I I, really, I don't know if I, I just feel sure. like this most time like. Yeah. Well, we we both like, like when I talk we, about Doctor Who, do it. We uh, well see now you know man now you're educated. Go back and watch this when you're sober. I wrote it down. Sober. I wrote one of us net and podcast beyond. I'm gonna check them out. Yeah, pod, podcast beyond is great, and also Game Scoop is on the, the IGM website as well. Um, but if you if you I watch a lot of IGM websites. If you subscribe yeah. to the I, IGN podcasts on you on iTunes, Game Scoop will come up when it's on. I watch up at noon uh, on. Oh, also, no, so Knock and Boots it, it came from there too. If you ever heard the Knock and Boots podcast, yeah. fun. I haven't heard, but I've heard of it. Yeah, and that, that's uh, that's a nice fun one too. Guys, thanks for coming today. We, uh, love we love you. We miss you. If anyone wants to be a special guest, let us know. We'll bring oh, you around. Hopefully, Matt will send me okay. some uh, some tracks, and we can put them up on uh, some, YouTube as some well. Fat beats. I keep we do. Like but now we called you out on the podcast. People are watching the podcast, I'm still not gonna send do him it. hate mail. Hate mail. I'll get one hate mail. I'm going to send his, his email to you. It's if I get right one here. hate mail, his, his email I'm sending right horror tracks. So send right that hate here. mail right here. My, my, my email address will be up here and my personal phone number over here, right over his eyes, like Jordy from uh, Next Generation. We got a cool leak! <laughs> fin, fang, foom. Stay classy. We love you. Good night. Go off, please.